What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. Garrett here with Game by the Beach. The video you're watching right now is gameplay that I did a little bit earlier, trying to do a little bit of uh, trophy pushing. This was the day right before the end of the season. Uh, I'm trying out a new deck here, but really I just wanted to take the time and talk to you guys about what you guys think about this game. I want to know what you guys want in the next update. I, I really haven't heard anything as of yet, so um, hopefully some different things are going to happen in terms of, you know, connecting to a community. I would love to see a way to where you're able to communicate with different people, whether that's even in game with, you know, different chats or different emojis or whatever you want to call it, or, you know, being able to have a, have a clan or a, you know, whatever you want to call it, but having a group of people on the same team working towards a, you know, a common goal. I think that would be really, really cool. So I know this game is super new, but I'm excited to see what kind of happens. Um, I really haven't found a deck that I'm vibing with completely, but um, I'm having a ton of fun with the game. So um, yeah, I'm also interested to see what kind of rewards are going to be um, given at the end of the season. So as of right now, I don't know, but uh, excited to find out. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of a chest, some sort of a you know, gold reward or, you know, a few cards or anything like that. But um, I'm really excited to find out. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen with where you're going to be on the leaderboard. I know in like Clash Royale, here's a victory right there. Um, I know in Clash Royale, uh, you had a, you know, you decreased in trophies like 200 or something like that when you won and then you, or when the season ended and then you climb back up. Um, and that was always really fun. So I'm interested to see if that's going to happen. I know people right now, they keep messaging me and saying that they're at the top of the leaderboard. I was having trouble getting in a game. Um, but at the top of the leaderboard in terms of like 5,000, 6,000 trophies, and they say everyone has Boris, everyone has a million damage coming out of Boris. And, um, and it's, and they're all bots. That's what they say. They're all bots, which I'm really interested to see. But I think that's something that may just be because this game is so new and they really just wanted to get it out there and have people see it. I'm sure the more and more people that are playing the game, you know, the less need for bot for bots there are. And then there's also going to be more cards. There's going to be more variation. You know, right now it's pretty similar decks. Um, I haven't even talked about the deck I'm rocking right now. I got the Portal Master and the Hex in there. I'm sure as you've seen, you guys have been probably watching the gameplay more than I have right now. Um, but it's a pretty fun deck. But other than that, um, everyone's running, you know, Engineers, uh, Boris. You know, a lot of people run Plague Doctor. If they have uh, Harley Quinn or Dryad, they're certainly going to run it. I think those are two of the best cards in terms of uniqueness. And then obviously damage um, Boris and Engineer and you know, maybe Wind Archer or something like that. But, you know, I think it's just really at its earliest stages. So we're going to see this game continue and continue to evolve and just get better and better. And I'm really excited to see that. So as soon as I find that out, um, I'm going to let you guys know. Not that I have <laughs> gamer insight, but I'll be doing a little bit of research to just, just to see if the information's out there. And, uh, and yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys are, are really looking forward to. I know something I enjoyed was having a leaderboard so you could see where your friends are. You could see where the best in the world are. And that way you kind of know. So I'm like, oh, you know, I'm at 4,000 trophies. And that's pretty good for me, you know, and for people who don't really play. You know, yeah, I play more than them. I make videos every day. So um, that's pretty decent. But then people are at 6,000. I wonder, you know, how high do people go? Are people at 10,000? I have no idea. I mean, I'm only at 50% win rate, a little bit less. So I'm sure people are higher and have a 70% win rate with some crazy deck and all these different strategies. So a leaderboard and having other decks that are shown by what these people are playing with would be really interesting and be really cool to see. Uh, and then continue to make the game better, right? You want to have the gameplay better and better. And that's kind of a goal, kind of a goal. Um, playing this deck right here, I had a sweet switch right there with the Warlock. Um, got the Boris out of there. Um, yeah, I forget what I was going to say just now. But uh, I'm really interested to see what, what's going to happen. Um, oh, one thing I was thinking about this specific deck is the instant kill damage was actually a little bit more apparent. And it saved me a number of times. So I'm interested to see if I could make a deck that's like purely around the insta kill and get a bunch of hexes boris of course probably engineers but also you know the grim reaper and then um 
you know, maybe a, a mime or something to where I can switch in hexes and grim and grim reapers and and get that insta kill just constantly and it just keeps popping off. I feel like that would be a pretty cool concept, but not sure if it's gonna work. Um, the deck I think I think the one I'm playing against right now, this dude literally just does. Maybe it was the one earlier, but what I've been seeing is decks that just are Boris and a bunch of support units, Triad, uh, Mime, and Harley Quinn, and they just fill the board with Boris. And <laughs> I mean, I have a setup right now. I have a setup that I like. I have a number of Boris, a number of Sharpshooters, and a number of um, Engineers that are all in a row, and I'm getting my butt kicked. So I, I can definitely see why people are getting frustrated. But uh, again, I think that it's just really early stages in the game. And I think this game has a lot of potential. So um, I got to look up who the devs are and who created this game and, and everything like that. Because I know nothing about them. I mean, I don't know a ton about this game, to be perfectly honest. Um, but still, but still looking forward to it. Yeah, but so I want to see what you guys are thinking about um, in terms of what you want to see, in terms of what you really like. Uh, I think it's a really unique game. Here you see that I am taking a loss. Um, I think it's good to show you guys losses. I mean, this is, you know, <laughs> you're, of course, I'd rather not, but it's realistic, right? You guys see every video that my win rate is 47%. So if you guys are losing, it's not the end of the world. You know, I don't think anybody right now knows exactly what they're doing, right? Just because it's so new. And I, and I kind of like that aspect. I also want to learn. That's why I want the, the leaderboard. I mean, I have an advantage a little bit because I have you guys telling me what to do. Um, to where a normal player wouldn't have anybody telling them what to do. So I have a little bit of an advantage there. But I think this is the last game in the video. We've got a little bit of a messy board, but we got some engineers. We're probably looking for Boris. Um, but so far, so good. Look at his board, though. So his board right now is Priestesses, Mages, uh, not, not Mages, Mimes, and Harley Quinns. And he's just going to switch around until he can get engineers. His entire game plan is based around engineers. And does he have one other troop? That's the damage dealer. I haven't seen anyone, anything yet. Um, but that's, I mean, that's like a really cool concept. And I've said this in other videos. Oh, he has a slow guy. Um, it's just hard to pull off. It's really hard to pull off. I want to be able to try out different decks that are unique and a, and a bit of fun. But I also want to have a win rate. So I'm like trying to go to different decks, trying to go to different things. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. So... Next video that you see, it's going to be the new season, and uh, hopefully we get some new cards. Hopefully we get a, you know, I don't really know if we need balancing changes per se. Maybe Boris is a little overpowered, but that's like the only one I, I could think of. You know, maybe, uh, you know, increase the damage of some guys that aren't being used. I, I don't even know who's not being used. Wizards, Ice Wizards, uh, Electric Wizard, or, you know, I don't even, I don't even know. But it will be really interesting to see, and... I think one positive to this game, I think there's a number of positives, but one real positive to this game is the fact that they could do anything they want with with these cards. I mean, the, it, it shows with Mime and Harley Quinn, they're crazy. Triad, all three of those are very, very similar concepts, but they're all very different cards, right? So I use the Mime and it kind of screws me because I get a random card every time. And then you have Harley Quinn to where you get the card that you want, but maybe you don't want that card. Maybe you have a tier four priestess I guess you could combine it and then combine out of it, but then you don't know what you're going to get, right? So it's just, it, you know, I think it's really a complex game and everybody's saying how, you know, it takes a lot of chance and a lot of luck and a lot of this and a lot of that. The higher you go up, the less that's going to be true. The less that's going to be true. They get, you're going to be combining into exactly what you want to do and uh, and it's going to be really, really cool. So, you know, we're all learning, learning together with this, and it's really su such an exciting game. So, so far, so good. I think we just finished the second boss, if I'm, if I'm correct. We've got um, this deck that I'm running right here. It takes a lot of focus, so it's actually a blessing that I'm doing this not live because, it, you know, I'm switching around the hexes as well as I'm switching around the engineers, trying to get them in, you know, the engineers all together, but I want the hexes in, like, convenient locations. And then I've also got to upgrade. So you can notice that I'm a little bit slow on some of the upgrades, and I, I get a lot of mana, and then I, you know, kind of freeze up to what I want to do. Like, right now, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put that bottom hex, and there's not really a good spot for it. The perfect spot for a hex is in the middle uh, of the board where that Boris is currently in between the two hexes because that means it has all four spots that it's hitting. And then you can have one there and then you can have one on the 
um, the same side on the on the other side, the other the same spot on the other side where an engineer is currently, and just on the other side of the hex. I don't know if that made sense, but um, so it's kind of difficult. So um, definitely takes a lot of focus. This game I think is coming to an end. He's got 30 seconds. He's having a little bit of a hard time, but look what happened to him. So he had a tier four uh, Harley Quinn, a tier three, yada yada yada. But that is the final win. That oh. Do I jump into another one? No, I don't jump into another one. So that is the end of this YouTube video, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this end of season, things that you really want to see, things that you're loving right now, and things that you're frustrated about. And I will check you out in the next video. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.